Today's video, I'm gonna be gapping my spark plugs. I got this nice Precision Raceworks gapping tool and I already gapped this spark plug. I will be gapping one more just to show you guys an example and the rest of the spark plug should be the same procedure. So this is the type of gap you wanna get when you're gapping your spark plugs. For those curious, this is the spec I am running. It's 2 hundredths of an inch. So this spark plug is already gapped. I'll try to get it better. So you see how it's kind of hard to get in there. It has like a nice drag to it. Obviously you don't want to force it in there and then damage that right there, but just be gentle with it. Good gap. So this one's all set. So I'll show one more, starting from the beginning. So you just thread in the spark plug and it's obviously going to stay a little bit loose. So what I'd like to do is I like to line it up straight, push this in. So right there, oh, well first I'll back it off to show you how far the gap. So this is a loose gap considering for the spec that I'm trying to run. You see how there's nothing there? I can like move this up and down in there. That's no good. So obviously we have to tighten up the gap. So just my advice is to go slowly, back it off and check the gap again because I wouldn't want to reopen the gap and then have to start over again. I just rather take my time and do it right. See? It, we closed it up a little bit, but it could be a little better. That has a little bit of drag, but not to where I want it. Obviously, you want to be precise with this, but I wouldn't lose my head over it. Maybe check two or three times to see if it's good. And put it in the car. So that's a nice gap right there. So for me, this is good. It has, it's, easy, it's not that easy to go inside, but it has a nice drag. You see, I'm trying to pull it out. I'll do it one more time. I'll try to get a better view. So here, comes out. And uh, that's it. So now I'll be installing these in my car and I'll be right back. To begin, remove the fan cowl and the engine acoustic cover and go on to removing the coils. If anybody's asking or wants to know what coils I'm running, I'm running Eldor coils. These things have been great. No complaints, no misfires. They've been really good to me. So I'm still gonna continue running these. So like I said, these are the same spark plugs I was running previous. Looks like a worn spark plug to me. Yeah. So that's cylinder one. Cylinder two. Cylinder three. Cylinder four. Cylinder five, cylinder six. So obviously with spark plugs, always start them in by hand first.
So now you'll want to torque your spark plugs to 23 Newton meters. All that's left now is to put in the ignition coils and you'll be all done.